Hey guys, it's Irish again. In this video I thought I would do a brief uh, review on the Awesome Window Manager. Uh, awesome Window Manager is very, very configurable. I, I believe it's, you know, second to i3. Um, I've used I Awesome a few times before and this is the stock uh, right when you install it. This is what you get right out of the box. So you get the okay wallpaper the crappy uh, theme and everything else like that so I'm just going to take you on a brief tour and talk about uh, a little bit on what awesome really is so up here uh, is the is the workspaces so and if uh, so you just like in i3 the default mod key is the windows key or the super key so if we do mod 1 and it just goes all the way uh, then you can go to that and then to the left of the first workspace is the window or excuse me is the awesome logo so if you just click it it brings up you can go into the manual edit your config restart uh, the whole thing so like refreshing the the screen or quitting or you can open the terminal Again, you don't have to become go all the way up here. You can right click on the screen and do the same. The second thing is this uh, bar right here. So if we do open up, um, say a terminal, which like in I3 would, would be mod key and then enter, you'd see here is what is open on the screen. So if you have multiple uh, you know, programs open on, a particular workspace you can you know switch between the two just by clicking up here or whatnot so let's exit out there obviously the time and uh, this is um, piping through my XNRC file so this does not come uh, automatically in the awesome config uh, and then this right here is the layout so the layouts, um, unlike in i3, which you can manually do it, uh, each layout is particular to what you see here. So if you uh, if you want multiple uh, screens open on the left and only two on the right hand side, so if we do it this way, and then you can just keep on going. And then if we uh, just tile through this, now you can have the two up on top and the multiple on the bottom. As you can see, you can just scroll through until you see a particular uh, layout that you like instead of having to manually do it like in i3. It's not bad. Uh, my, per my personal gripe is the spacing. You can see the background behind it. I personally, if you think um, that anything's going to tile it would use the entire screen real estate or the screen space and I just don't understand why the gaps are in there but again those are easily uh, you can easily get rid of those so this is a uh, see what this one is uh, I don't know what this layout is but you can see how you can go like that like that one and this is full screen this is full screen and then you can go back here so let's just exit uh, unlike the i3 uh, where you have to install D menu awesome window manager does come with its own a uh, application launcher so if we do a mod P for program I'm assuming you can go into office development internet or you can just type in so let's say we want to open up uh, my terminal you go here and you can see it or if you want you can go into each of these like internet accessories and then you can see the different ones like here and then you just exit by hitting the escape key so next thing I want to show you guys is uh, the configuration file so if we go Let's open up Vim here. Uh, config slash awesome RC. 
So Awesome Window Manager is uh, written in Lua, which is a programming language. Uh, unlike i3, this one looks like an actual programming language, where in i3 you just see is it plain text. So this is what it looks like. So it's it it's definitely a learning curve for sure so you can do layouts um, you can have your battery layout you could have a volume layout there's a whole bunch of widgets out there that you can put and pipe up here wherever you want to put them and then obviously you can move this down if you want so if we go here uh, the terminal uh, uh, so if you have multiple terminals, it may go to Xterm or whatever the default one is. So you can change it right here under the terminal. You can do editor, so you can do instead of nano, you can do vim and stuff like that. And then your mod key, so it's uh, mod 4, which is the Windows key. You can change that to mod 2, which would be the alt key. And on my keyboard, on my laptop, that's the one I prefer the best. So you just page down. Again, here's the uh, layouts right here. So the floating, tile, max, spiral, dwindle. Uh, so it's, again, you can create your own layouts or you can rearrange this. So the one that's in the basic one is I can do a horizontal fair. So I could put that, you can change this how you want and then the uh, wallpaper you can do it through this um, also here the tags or the uh, your workspaces and you can change that uh, how you like it so like in one of my i3 videos I showed you how you can put a certain um, certain application to a workspace well this is the same thing they just use the tag system and then you can change the awesome window menu which would be here and then you can make it like you would see an open box or uh, like in a uh, desktop environment where you click the application launcher and it's got a whole bunch of different uh, sub subcategories so as we just scroll down it's just again this is very uh, it takes some time but if you just follow the awesome window manager wiki and just look at other people's uh, configs then uh, it's pretty simple and self-explanatory and it does get you into coding and stuff like that but again this is just for the awesome window manager so you can change any aspect of this one that I like to do is the uh, mod shift C which would kill um, the application unlike in i3 again I would just do um, mod shift Q to quit and then mod shift E to escape and all that bunch of stuff and then the menu bar is the P and that's what that is so it does come up with its own so you you don't necessarily have to uh, install D menu but I <clears throat> excuse me but I believe that D menu is much more powerful than the built-in one right here so if you do install this I suggest definitely an install D menu and then uh, so that's the main config file there is something else that does come so if you want to change any of the colors uh, let me uh, skip this really quick so the unique thing about awesome window manager unlike uh, i3 or any other is that it comes with themes already so let's open up uh, Thunar really fast. So I'll show you where this is at. So if you go to your user share, and then if you go to, and then if you go to awesome, it comes then themes. It comes with default, then it comes with sky, and then Zenburn. So I can show you guys uh, what these look like if you want, but sky is very, very blue, and it comes with its own unique um, set of layouts. And then Zenburn is the one that I prefer, and it comes a, a little bit more 
I, per I personally like it just more stylish. So in the default, you can do layouts, your background, sub menu. So with this uh, and the theme Lua. So that's what uh, Lua, um, uh, you know, gets its theme from. So if we go here to G Edit, and then this is what it looks like. So to colorize the top part, you would just uh, change this and then the border you can move zero and stuff like that and then if you want to change this part right here the awesome uh, icon here then that would be right here so you change it to whatever you want I use the Arch Linux theme port uh, little icon for that so and then change it and then you can go up and just restart and then everything would work so that's what I, I again I, I would if you wanted to switch over to um, window managers this would be one of the second ones I would recommend besides i3 i3 I've been on i3 for a while so it's really hard to beat that custom uh, custom custom customability um, so that's all I have today um, if you guys uh, want to see me theme this, I, I have themed Awesome Window Manager uh, before, so if you want to see a tutorial on how to theme it the way that I like it, like I did in my i3 series, uh, let me know, um, and I will catch you guys next time.